Not quite enough action over there on the Bells Bowl, but this wave serves up something else. It gives us a steeper wall. We see very explosive surfing out of the lip here. That was the case for the surfers progressing through the seeding round earlier in, earlier in that first heat of the day. David Silver and Michelle Perez getting the jump on Reef Hazelwood. But right now we're seeing two-time world champion John Florence, a couple of Brazilians. And it looks like it is going to be Jesse Mendez getting things started here. Lining up this first section, just getting a little hung up there. And as a result, he goes down. Luke, talk to me about the differences in the characteristics of the waves. Over to Winky Pop. The wave actually is a little bit more consistent in the way it breaks uh, in these smaller conditions as we see up and riding. This is John Florence. Really powerful stuff. Love the way he pushed on, on that tail to the point of release, maintaining control. Let's have a look back at John Florence's first ride, though. Nice and fast, comes around the section with heaps of speed, attacks the section, and arrives nicely to finish that one off. Love the way he's reading the wave. Big, long bottom turn, just hacks under the lip, made sure those fins were in some green face there to push it super hard. Flows around onto his toe edge, a little late for the lip, but pierces it through and takes it on nicely. Yeah, just the two turns, but a 5.83 up. The judges are looking for quality, not necessarily quantity. And even though he had limited turns, there'll be some reward in those manoeuvres as Jesse Mendez looks to recover after falling early. This wave, he had the inside and didn't take advantage of it as we see William up and riding. William Cardoso just loses his back foot. Sometimes can be an issue down here. You make your way across the, the rocks down here in the morning. You've got that cold, hard skin on your feet and easy to have a slip up. The young rookie from Brazil on his way to the round of 32 as we see John Florence up again looking to back up that 5.83. I just had a look back at, at some of the competitors this year, Luke, that, that started the year with the bank, who took off on their first wave and, and looked composed and ready to do business. John was one of them. It was only a five, but you've got to remember at Durambar, so the, the conditions were somewhat marginal for that first seeding round. Takes off here, really nice wave. Turns half out the face, so he projects big speed into the lip. Comes around again. That was a bit of a setup turn for this one to finish it off, and uh, I really like the way John is being very patient. He's coming in and just picking his nice spot, just dipping the rail down over a bit of a chop there, but piercing it right through taking his time here and making sure he gets above the lip. Little bit of fin over the top. Comes down front shoulder over his front foot to get a lot of momentum out of the bottom, straight up again into the big, nice hack out of the lip and giving us a little bit of variety there too. So that's going to be another great score for John Florence. Yeah, but it's great like to have him back now. Went down the beach there and just went for the sky like no other. William Cardoso up at the moment. Nice projection turn to get out in front of it. Chasing this one, and it gets away from him down the lock. You see William takes the first wave of the set, comes off the top, just gets caught there in the flats, and he arrives a little late for the next one. Jesse Mendez getting an opportunity on the outside. Gets that drive in to make sure he can get back out in front of this one. Nice first turn, back up into the lip. Blitzes that section and brings it down. The rest of the wave, Jesse Mendez, great speed around this section, holds the rail into the lip, comes around, lines this one up quite well, throws some good spray. A lot of manoeuvres, but some real quality there, and now John Florence is going to get an opportunity and has the chance to extend his lead here over the field, trying to get rid of a 5.6, nice and burnt, and makes a good adjustment to get the finch free on that final section. His camp likes it. Great surfing, John Florence. Lucky enough, there was three waves in that set. He had third priority, but he got the best of it. Just beautiful linking of turns, really fast. Um, liking what we're seeing here, all guys. John Florence out the back. Look at this one. Beautiful open face. Carved out of the top. Set up for this one. Banks it out of the lip. Just not overdoing it, getting three good turns, and that was a, a great outcome out of that exchange. Really enjoyed it. Just um, yeah, probably didn't tee off on that second section as he would have liked, but got out of it early in order to get the fins free on the closeout. You go mentally, 
We'll get to it right after we watch this wave of John because he looks like he's going to have a little fun on the inside right now. Well, Florence, he's on an average wave here and quite often that can mean great things as a spectator because with average waves you want to do something exceptional. But, Luke, I'll let you get back to the question. How do you overcome the mental damage that is done by taking the first wave in a set, turning around and seeing your opponents rip it apart? Exploratory drilling in the Great Australian Bite. Drilling for oil. As we see now William Cardoso up, trying to fight his way into advancing position. A lot of power unloaded there. A bit of frustration unleashed on that final section. Only needed 3.34. You think back to John Florence just getting a couple of turns done for a 5.83. This is likely going to be the number to see him in the second spot. As we spoke earlier, this wave is a little slower for William to get his turns done. Nice turn out at the top. It was a little bit slow, but then he lays it into a nice layback hack there. There's the first turn, just carved around on the steep part of the wave. Finds good timing out of the lip and gets it done. Like this turn here, just coming out of the lip. Great technique. Looking down, and there are the turns that we know well from William Cardoso. Nice hack. Look at that spray flying above the lip. If he can get himself into that second spot, it's kind of the ultimate scenario, not leaving a, a lot of time on the clock for William Cardoso to make a reply. And Jesse making his move, so needs to get some work done here. Whips that board up into the pocket, climbs up into the section again. Unloading a bit of spray, this wave has a good pace to it. It's going to allow another turn on the inside here. Jesse climbs the section. A little awkward on that final manoeuvre, but did get multiple turns done. Was there enough in that ride to get himself into an advancing position, Luke? Deciding to use his priority. I like that first turn vertical out of the lip. Comes around, gets a good spray off that section. Goes a little bit sleepy here, but he seems to connect nicely. A little float. And then a finish up that he just got caught in the foam a touch. Jesse getting some nice turns done. It was a smaller wave and he didn't really link them as good as he probably would have liked to. There were some flat sections in that wave, but he did get some good turns done. It's going to be super close. Probably all hedges on what he did on the outside section. Those first two turns. Will he get enough credit for those maneuvers on the outside? We're going to wait and see. The score's starting to roll through now. It's not enough for Jesse Mendez, 3.03. William Cardoso moving on through to the round of 32, along with John John Florence, who was dominant in that seeding round exchange.